Yo, what's going on gang? It's that black guy, the black guy, back again with another banger video for y'all. And this one, uh, well, I know I said that I didn't have that many zany stories, but I guess I do. I just don't be remembering them motherfuckers, so, you feel me? Here's another one for y'all. <laughs> so this is gonna be about the time I took Xanax uh, in school again, but this time it was before my Spanish class. So, let's just say shit got spicy. Let's get into this shit. So this shit took place like senior year, no, junior year of high school. This was, I took this uh, Spanish course because I had to take a Spanish, you had to take an elective and all the other electives I didn't really want to take. So I was like, fuck it. Let's see what the Spanish shit's about. Hopefully this shit's simple because it said Spanish one and nigga, Spanish one, that's like hola, como estas type shit. Like, but that's easy. I learned all that in sixth grade. Truthfully, in middle school, I took um, beginner and intermediate levels of Spanish because my school, they were just fiending for niggas to learn Spanish, I guess. So, I was already ahead of the game and going into high school. Cause I knew a lot of, I knew a lot more Spanish than like everyone else did. Cause most of the people that went to my high school came from a Catholic, like elementary school, middle school. So you would, they didn't really force them to teach. Like they replaced language courses with religion courses. That's what they did in their fucking in their middle schools. So they never learned Spanish and shit. So I had the advantage. So already going into the class, I'm thinking this shit's going to be a fucking cakewalk. Like, I'm just going to be writing down the alphabet in Spanish, like on some bullshit. You feel me? I'm just going to play with my fucking cock in class. I'm not doing nothing really. This shit is easy. Easy A. You, you, that's what I'm thinking. And it, it kind of was. I'm not going to front. But, you know, I had to complicate shit by doing all these fucking drugs in this class. And I'm, I'm I, I, honestly, I'm shocked he didn't find out. I'm dead ass surprised he never found out I was doing anything in his class and he actually liked me a lot. I was like one of his favorite students because that was one of the few classes I would participate in because I knew all the shit like the back of my hand, bro. It was literally it was literally the beginner levels. Like think of Spanish that you would teach a fucking toddler. That's what we were learning in high school, nigga. So let's cut to the day all this shit happens. So it's a regular ass day of school as usual. Niggas ain't really planning anything in class or whatever. I'm smacking niggas fucking jewels and they... Um, and they carts in the bathroom or whatever. Typical high school shit, you feel me? That's the regular. So, I go in the bathroom after lunch, and I'm still at this point not thinking no nothing, no pills, no Xanax, no Coke, none of that. I'm not thinking of shit. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna hit my vape, go to class, because today we had to do a, um, we had to do some sort of presentation in my Spanish class for, um, we had a group pro. alright, this is very stupid. We had a group project, and we had to make a, a brochure for us he gave us a specific like city in um in latin america or some bullshit and we had to make a, a whole brochure in spanish and like present it to the class to try and like sell them on that specific city and at the end of the class we had a vote on whose um brochure everyone would like would rather you know fucking buy i guess what fucking city they'd rather go to and have you know highest amount of votes gets the highest score whatever the fuck all that shit so and my group I was with, these niggas, um, I'm not gonna lie, they kinda was retarded. Like, slightly. Just a, a very slightly retarded. These niggas was dumb. But, hey, they was cool. I was friends with them. It's whatever. I was doing the work for them. It wasn't that hard of work. I was that one nigga in the group that was doing all the work while everyone else was doing nothing. And usually it's the other way around. So I was a little, I was a little annoyed. Cause I was like, fuck, man, I gotta do all this work for these niggas. Like, granted, it was a fucking brochure. It didn't take that long. Like, it took me maybe an hour or two to do at home. Especially with Google Translate, that shit's my best buddy. Google Translate, Duolingo, whatever, nigga, that shit's goaded. But <laughs> so I did that brochure in like two hours before I went to school that day, and I'm just chilling in the fucking bathroom, and I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, I do not want to do this presentation bullshit right now, bro. Like, I I didn't have a problem with presenting. I don't like presenting really. I don't like public speaking at all, honestly. But in in Spanish, in the Spanish class, since everyone in the class was basically like illiterate in Spanish, I didn't mind it. Because literally everyone else that would present would be butchering every fucking word in Spanish. And I was like the one nigga that was, I sounded fluent. Like I was not fluent in Spanish at all. But me being in that class made me seem like I was fluent in the language. Because everyone else was just so beneath me. <laughs> like I'm not even trying to sound like an asshole. But like bro, everyone, I don't know if it was like a remedial Spanish class or something. Because these niggas was not the brightest. But yeah, I'm in the bathroom. I'm like yo, I don't want to do this fucking stupid presentation shit. And before that, it was my that was my last period of class. 
And before that, I think I mentioned this in other other videos. I had a I had film before that. It was like my second to last period class. Then after that, Spanish, and then another day it was Spanish, and then film. So usually after lunch on those days, I would not do shit, cause Spanish and film class, like I did not take that seriously. I took film seriously, like I, cause I'm majoring in film, obviously. But like, I thought the shit was gonna be a cakewalk, cause nigga, I, you just watch movies and analyze it. I didn't think it was gonna be that hard. So, feel me at this point, I'm like, well. I only got Spanish and film, and those classes are kind of like cakewalks, so, you know, maybe I should, like, feel me, see what niggas is popping with, let me see what niggas got going around in the bathroom, so, I go to the second floor bathroom, ain't nobody really in there popping off, that's where my class is at on the second floor, so I'm like, damn, so I go up to the third floor, mind you, I'm already about to be late to class, I don't know if I'm presenting first or none of that, I don't really care, so I'm like, I'm like, fuck it, bro. I go up to the third floor. I'm checking. I'm scoping the area. I'm looking down the hallways, looking to see if I see anybody I know. And even if I know you for like, just from being in one class that we never spoke, nigga, I'm going to ask you some, nigga. If I see anybody, I could see a teacher walking up like, yo, you got a Xanax? Like, what's up? I was fiending. So <laughs> I go to the bathroom and um, this is the same kid from the video of us getting caught smoking in school when we was in the bathroom. Forgot what I named him in that video. We just gonna, I'm just going to call him his real name because I just don't have time to make up a name. So, my boy Julian. Shout out to my man Julian. He a real one for this one. But, feel me, I go in the bathroom and, of course, my boy Julian design, design a kicks on. He's in the fucking stall smacking his pen or whatever. So, as soon as I see the kicks, you already know. I'm like, yo, Julian, nigga, what you got on you? Boy, what's popping? And, you feel me, he sees me. He's like, yo, what's up? We dap up, whatever. We, we speak and shit. And, feel me, he starts going in his bag because that's where he keep all his shit at. So he got the bag out. He pull out the baggie. He has a little, um, those big ass Ziploc baggies. It's just full of pills, bro. Mad, not, like not even labeled, no pill bottle, nothing. It's just a fucking bag. A Ziploc bag just filled with random ass fucking prescription pills <laughs> that he just carries around. So, <laughs> so I'm just looking through his bag like it's a fucking, like it's trick or treat. <laughs> like it's Halloween or something. I'm just looking through this nigga's bag. I'm like, yo, bro, what's this? What's this? What's this? Like picking out pieces of candy to take and shit. He's like, yeah, bro, I got Molly in there. I got some X. I got some perks. I got some, um, fuck. He had some, other, it was like some other painkillers. He had like Vicodin and some other bullshit, but I didn't want no painkillers. I think I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to just be chilling. So I tell him, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm just trying to be chilling. Like what's your, your shit indica? Your, I'll just smack your pen. He's like, oh, you trying to be chilling, chilling? He's like, yo, bro, I got you. So he pulls out the bar. I was looking at the bar. I'm not going to front. I was eyeballing the fuck out that bar in the damn, in the Ziploc baggie. But I was just trying to fight myself. I'm like, yo, I, this is not going to be smart to take when I have a fucking presentation. But then again, I felt like I was that. I I was just feeling myself, bro. I felt like I could dead ass do this whole presentation by myself off a bar and I would still get 100. Like, that's how confident I was in my Spanish speaking abilities. So, lo and behold, Nick gives me the, he gives me the Xanax. I take a whole bar. The entire bar, I didn't break it in half. I took the whole shit. I said, fuck it, nigga. If I'm taking a bar, I'm taking the full fucking bar. So, niggas popped the bar. We kept talking for a couple more minutes. I went to my film class. I was I was like five, ten minutes late, but we were watching a movie, so it didn't matter. So you already know while we're in the while we in the theater watching a the movie, I knocked the fuck out. I knocked the fuck out. My boy that was next to me woke me up afterwards. He was like, yo, we out. So I bounced. Nothing happened in the film class. I was just chilling off, this, off the bar. I was slumped. So I go to my Spanish class. I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot about this presentation at this point. Shit completely evaporated from my mind. I'm not going to lie. I've completely forgot about it. So I go into class and I see everyone like grouped up together, like huddle up talking, like all the groups that are presenting. And that's when I'm just like, fuck you. I got to present this shit. At this point, I'm literally on my fucking desk. My head sh face down on the desk. I'm basically drooling or some shit, bro. I got something come out of my mouth. Pause. But, nigga, I look fucking dead. I look, <laughs> I look like a zombie. And the other two people that was in my group, they, were, they sat behind me all the way in the back row. So, they saw me come in looking like a fucking zombie. And they was... <laughs> as soon as they saw me come in, bro, they were, all, they were scared as fuck. They were like, yo, bro, you valid to present? You still gonna be able to do this shit, bro? You still, like, you good? Like, you... You still know your shit, bro? You got the stuff? You know what, like... They was fiending, because I think... I don't think they were passing the class, truthfully. I was I was really one of the only niggas I was doing very good in the class. So, they see me barred out. They're fiending, like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. You shouldn't have done this shit, bro. I need this grade. So, and I'm on the bar, so I don't give a fuck what they're saying right now, bro. I'm not listening to them. They're sitting there tapping me, asking me mad questions. I'm just kind of nudging them off. I'm like, yo, like, leave me alone, bro. Like, niggas is tired, bro. Chill. Fuck. Like... When he calls us up to present, we'll present. Like, that's literally what I was saying. I was like, bro, when he calls us up, he'll call us up. It's not that deep. 
Like nigga was trying to plan what like which lines to say, who should say what, who should present which part of the brochure. Like nigga, I didn't care about any of that, bro. I just wanted to get this shit over with. So I'm laying there. I think like two or three groups go before us. I'm slumped. I'm not listening to shit. He has niggas raise their hand to vote after each presentation to say who would who would want to go to that uh city. I'm not raising shit, nigga. My head is down on the ground. I'm slumped. So finally our group goes. I didn't even hear this nigga call our group name. I've my other two group mates that came behind me, they stepped up and I wanted them had to nudge me to wake me up to go up to fucking present. I don't know <laughs> I don't know how the professor didn't realize this. I think I just told him I was tired or something. <laughs> Cause that's the go-to when you're on the bar, nigga. Anytime a teacher asks you, I'm, I'm just tired, man. I've been up all night, you know, projects, essays and shit. <laughs> the go-to excuse. It works every time. But you feel me? I go up there to present and I'm already walking wobbly and shit. Like I don't even want to be up. Like, I had to force myself to get up out this seat because I was glued. I was straight glued to that chair. So, after another, like, minute or so, I finally get up to go present, and everyone's just looking at me because I look like a fucking dead piece of shit. We go up there. I'm I'm, I'm going to be clean. I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm not even going to try and act like I did. I don't. I have no, I have no recollection of, of our presentation at all. But according to my two friends, they said we did I. Right. So, <laughs> I'm going to go with that. We did I. Right. I just remember this one part of the presentation where I had to say, um, God damn, there was one word I was supposed to say on the brochure. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I don't know if it was my eyes or just my mind, but I just couldn't say it. Like I was reading it how it was in my head, but then when it would come out of my mouth, I was just be saying gibberish. And I was literally stuck on that one word for like a good like two minutes <laughs> until, the te- until the teacher had to just be like, yeah, just just skip that one. It's all right. Just 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 gloss past that line. <laughs> I forgot what word it was, man. I wish I remembered the word. It was some fucking stupid ass word, bro. And every time I would try and say the word, it just got worse and worse. I think it was. I th- I'm not. I can't remember the word. I'm sorry, but just know I was fumbling the words, man. I was literally stuttering through that whole presentation, bro. I don't know how I. I don't remember what grade I got. I think we got like a, a 80, which that was probably my lowest grade in that class that whole year. I'm not gonna lie. The 80 was probably my lowest grade. And I didn't even care because I wasn't trying to be the best student. I was just trying to be a average student, bro. Like I strive for being average. <laughs> That's my goal. It's just to be an average man. You feel me? So yeah, we finished presenting. I don't know how many people raised their hand. I don't think anyone wants to go to our city the way I was presenting it. I don't know who wants to go there. If I'm your tour guide and you're going to that city with me, you're not having a good time <laughs> because I'm on a bar and I'm fucked up. So yeah, that's really the end of the story. I mean, I went home after that, took the bus, knocked out on the bus. I think I ended up missing my stop, too. That's what's crazy. <laughs> I think I ended up missing my fucking bus stop. I I overslept, and I was on that shit for, like, two extra stops, and I had to walk all the way home. So that was fucking fire. But, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed that shit. If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, you don't have to like, comment, subscribe. It's not that serious to me. But, yeah, catch y'all on the next one. Peace!